Oh, this room looks like a nightmare. That's fun. There's a few rooms in this house that strike me as, okay, this is ghost town. This could be it. Uh... Oops. The way the shadows play with your, with your mind. Well, I, I didn't see something, I heard something. I heard a noise right up there. It came from up there. Probably bats. <laughs> That's also a concern, I mean, but. Ah, uh, bats are no. One room that is particularly important is a room called the Blue Room, or as some know it, the Seance Room, a room where Sarah would allegedly communicate with the good spirits on a nightly basis for building guidance. The room has three entrances and one door that is like a trap door dropping into the kitchen down below. And not surprisingly, this is one of the most active rooms in the house, with reports of organ music being heard, cold spots, and people experiencing dizziness. What is this thing doing? It's making noises. What is... I just took out a brand new battery. I just took off the plastic from it and put it in, and it drained it all the way to zero. This is highly unusual. I've never seen it do this before. I'm just gonna ignore you and fix the issue. All right, we are in the kitchen. Please turn the light on for us. Please don't, please don't do it. Demon? Stop calling it that. Demon! Stop it, stop talking to it. No, I just want to talk to the demons. We met a pal named Father Thomas. He told us not to talk to you, but I think you guys are swell. If you like the guy staying here, turn the light on. You're fucking crazy, Shane. If you don't like us, turn it on. Please don't turn it on. Please don't. Ah! 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 What the fuck? Oh, shit. No! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my holy water? Where's my holy water? If you actually don't like us, please just turn it on. I don't think I don't think they have the power to turn it back on again, frankly. I really think they don't. <laughs> Ryan. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? What the Keep in mind we have to spend the night here. <laughs> please turn the light off for spirits. Don't you fucking do it. Turn it all the way off. No, no, no. Thank you. Oh, oh fuck no, no, oh my god. What please try. Oh my god. That's a car going by, it's okay. No, that's the fucking flashlight rolling in the background. Look, it's coming oh, back. Oh yeah, it is. It's a flashlight, it rolls, it's cylindrical. But it shouldn't roll back and forth like what? that. What? You should have never talked to it, dude. What is wrong with you? Say, so if you're there in the hole, you must speak to us or communicate with us. Turn that flashlight on. Please don't, please don't, please don't. That's me, sorry. Right. Oh, thank God. Okay, thank you, So God. we're giving off high MF here because of this. Whoa. Oh, that thing. So that's a false read. But since there's a lot of electricity coming through the hair, that's saying they can feed a spirit. Oh, that's good, let's feed it more. Why not, right? He's hungry. If you want to eat my heart, turn that light on. I think this demon's a wimp. He's lost his mind. <laughs> you want to lay on the pentagram? Here we go. You're out of your mind. Rock and roll, buckaroo. If you want to eat my heart, turn that light on. If you want to eat Ryan's heart, don't, don't turn that light on. Stop putting me in your shit. Our old pal, Ryan Bergara. Stop. We're a package deal. Oh, the light's on, Ryan. Look at the lights. Demon, we got him. Jesus Christ. Turn it off for us, please. For Ryan's sake. Ah, no! <laughs> Fuck this house, dude. So, Guardian of the Crossroads has a symbol to signature a geometric design known as a VV. To all the spirits of all directions, we call upon you, the spirits of fire, we want you to come through. The spirits of water, we call upon you. And the spirits of air, we request you, the spirits of earth. We give offerings as well to feed your way. Do y'all have some coins? I need some coins of the realm. Here's some coins right here. Throw them on in. 
I, Bloody Mary, I, Voodoo Queen, I, Mary Milan, I, La Cocro, I, with many names in the past, in the present, and in the future. Call upon the spirits of place through Papa Legba. We ask that we may communicate with you, may we see you, may we hear you, may we feel you, may we photograph you with great respect. Open the way. I present my friends. Please state your full name. Ryan Stephen Brigara. And Shane Alexander Madej. We call upon them. We let you open the way for them to come through today. <whistles> open the way. Come on in. Apparently this was a gift shop in the former Voodoo Spiritual Temple. Oh, you sell like magnets and stuff? After I mention we're standing in the former Voodoo Temple gift shop, we pick up a voice possibly saying, yeah. Voodoo Spiritual Temple. Oh, you sell like magnets and stuff? We also pick up a strange whimper. You wanna say anything to me or the little guy? What about to the giant? What about to the giant? The second floor was rented out as an apartment and is also reportedly haunted. There's accounts of footsteps, shadows, and rocks being thrown. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's Jody. The the doll? Mm-hmm. What's her deal? She will be the overseer of the haunted nursery of dolls that I'm going to have. I'm gonna buy you one of those for Christmas. Shut up, Shane. Is there a reason why there's a circle of rocks in this little door? Maybe. <laughs> That's really weird. What's that? Uh, I just didn't know any of the electric was on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is weird. That's good. I didn't, you know, huh. Can you reach up and pull a string and see what happens? That's so weird. Huh. Strange. The switches didn't do anything, and I don't have it turned on. We have some visitors tonight. Or maybe well, we there hasn't were. been electric visitors. in here in over a year because of the fire. Any physical sensations that you're feeling in there? Huh? <laughs> Ryan, put away your fear and just focus on what you feel. I'm gonna but. sit in this chair. Put your feet on the ground and ground, ground into the moment. I'm gonna just close my eyes and just... What are you sensing? <laughs> I don't sense anything dark in this room. I don't I'm feel- I'm not asking about anything dark. It doesn't have to do with dark. I feel happier. Any reason why you think you feel happier? Because I'm not scared right now. Maybe it's because if there's something here, it feels like it's scared too, maybe. Like a, like a kid. And have you ever been a scared kid? Yep, all the time. Do you know what the source of that fear, when it began? No. I always felt like something was watching me in the dark when I was little. Well, there's probably a source that triggered it when you were a child. You find that source, you might dissolve some of your fears. I'm returning. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. He's channeling. And you are correct. There's a little boy here. Little boy, I call him Abe. He had requested stones, 10 stones. Actually, he requested jacks. While Shane and I go change batteries, our audio recorder continued rolling inside the little boy's cupboard and picked up some peculiar noises. What if he talked when we were gone? Oh my God, I just got the chills thinking of that. That's fucking crazy. You kind of hear their whispering there? No. Okay. There, right there. Did you hear that? the wood the, or whatever? The cupboard, yeah. So the takeaway here is every little sound is a ghost. No, the takeaway here is that sounds that don't belong in that environment may or may not be ghosts. Anybody else in here at all? I'm gonna turn the, um, I'm gonna turn the light out. My jacket just moved in a way that it felt like somebody touched me on the shoulder. And if I think, if I think you had felt it, you would scream. I think the creepiest detail in that case what the fuck was that? Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Did you have anything spooky? Uh, something, I think, tugged on my shirt. I don't want to talk about it, I want to leave. Okay. Thank all the spirits from all the directions and the spirits of house. The ones we know, the ones we don't know. We thank them for letting us have a glimpse into their life and leg buzz over the gates. We now ask to close the way I say. On September 24th, 1975, the first exorcism rite was performed. 
Father Renz allowed some of the exorcism sessions to be recorded, and 42 audio recordings of the exorcisms were made in total. I'm gonna play some clips from those recordings, but fair warning, these recordings are perhaps the most disturbing pieces of audio I've ever heard. All right, if there's anybody in here right now with us that wants to say anything, make a noise. What is that? You heard those, right? That wasn't me just being crazy. I mean, you heard metal moving around. I'm not trying to do that whole dismissive thing, but I'm dismissing it. This looks like some kind of kiln of some sort. I'm not sure, but a furnace, maybe. Yeah. At this moment, our audio recorder picks up what sounds like a loud whisper. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do you think that is? Well, I think it's a whisper, but that's also because if you notice, it's going over my voice. Yeah, it sure is. I think it's fair to say it's not either of our voices. Here's the thing, there's so many different noises going on at once here. And then, wait, what, there's a ghost whisper somewhere in this little moment? Yeah. And what does it say? It just goes, <laughs> that's, I think that's the message from the great beyond. Well, God said, go back to earth. You're not done yet. I want you to tell them something. Oh, what do you want me to tell them? <laughs> right now we are in the living quarters of the assay office. We have a motion light right there. We're gonna ask something to walk near that table. I mean, there's a tripod right there. There's a tripod right there. There's our GoPros, obviously Shayna has a camera. We are the only ones in this building. Nobody else in the room. This is gonna be insane. If this turns on, I'm gonna lose my mind. If you're here once again, please step near that table. There's a white box on top of it. Just step near it. This table. Oh, this is making me so sad. I wonder what's in that closet. Nope, I don't, don't even check. I'll check. What if I open this and a thousand rattlesnakes jump out? Then I'm gonna run. All right. Let's boogie, boys. It's a mattress and dirt. As Shane looks inside the door, our audio recorder picks up what sounds like a whisper from a small child. And dirt. Again, I don't find it compelling. I'm not, I don't listen to these and outright think I'm gonna deny all of these just because I have to prove a point. Will I just you don't least, find it very compelling. Will you at least admit that it's more compelling than the other one? Yeah, it sounds like something being scraped. It sounds like a Are scrape. you kidding? <laughs> this one sounds like a kid. That sounds like a kid. To me it does, like an evil little kid. On the first day of kindergarten, the teacher goes, and what's your name? And the kid says, Aah. All right, we're gonna kill our lights, and when we do. Hey, by the way, this is growth. You're killing your light without even whining about it or being afraid. I, I want to find some proof. Okay, cool. Please communicate with us. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay, if there's anybody here right now, um, make a noise, move something, I guess touch us if you want. Touch us. Shut up, Shane. I, I think that door's opening. I didn't want to say anything, but it's- Oh, it is. It's moving. Is that upsetting to you? I think that door's opening. It may be the wind. I'm gonna say it's the wind. If that is you opening the door, please swing it open. Oh God. It is certainly opening. Oh my God, I fucking get any chills. <laughs> it, oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm, fr I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Put your hands on my shoulder. I'll keep my back to you. God, I don't even need to see you. Open that door wider and wider. 
Oh my god. Yes. I'm getting uh, my my I, I goose all the hair in my body standing up right now. Uh, come on, children, push that door open. Clean. Okay, we're leaving now. I'm gonna turn my light back on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, ready? I'm gonna be silent. At this moment, our audio recorder picks up a voice possibly saying what? 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 Again, it doesn't sound like a voice. That clear okay, what did you think it saw? It just sounded like us moving around. You okay. You, we, we were both crouched on the ground, moving around. Yeah, listen to the listen to what word you think this is saying. I think it's pretty clear what it's saying. What? What? I, I guess I could hear a what. Thank you, thank you. That clearly sounds like what to me. No, yeah, it could also be twenty other things. What? What? Okay, at least say this. It's more compelling than the other two. It's the best you've gotten so far, but Ever? it also sounds. Yeah, probably. It's pretty good, right? Anything else you have is shit. 